With the expiration of Title 42 in New York State being a sanctuary state, Republican lawmakers are proposing legislation to address what they are calling a migrant crisis. Capitol correspondent Amel Taligi has the latest. This past year, busloads of migrants were transported to New York City. As the number of migrants continue to rise, Mayor Adams recently proposed to send some migrants to Rockland and Orange County. Both county executives responded by declaring a state of emergency. Senate Minority Leader Rob Orr weighs in. Here's the sort of the, the truth that no one ever talks about. Someone's always got to be displaced. When you're bringing in thousands, millions, I don't even know how many it is, tens of thousands of illegal migrants, and you're putting them in different communities, you're putting them in hotels, you're displacing others. You're taking resources from others. There's no two ways about it. Senator Rob Rollison's district includes the town of Newburgh, where he says a number of veterans have been displaced from the Crossroads Motel. These are individuals who are dealing with all kinds of issues that I dare say most of us right here right now are not dealing with. Then all of a sudden one day you're told you're going to have to get out because essentially they get paid $88 a night for a homeless vet where the city of New York is going to give them somewhere around 300 Rollison's legislation would prevent vulnerable communities like the disabled, veterans, or victims of domestic violence from being displaced. When you move people around, especially ones that are the most vulnerable, that sets them back. Sets them back from a place that you're trying to get them to. And it's just not it's just not fair. And Senator Bill Weber, whose district occupies Rockland County, is proposing legislation that will give control to local municipalities to issue a state of emergency that would supersede the state. So this way the state can come in and override the local uh, states of emergency that that we had to again do and what, what other future counties may have to do itself. Those bills have been introduced, but not yet voted on. Governor Hochul did have a meeting with multiple members of Congress today to address the migrant situation, but it's unknown if any progress has been made. We'll keep you updated with the latest. Reporting in Albany, Amel Talegi.